to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Is it obvious that about half of your kids are out of work and the other half are in jail? Do you see any Democrat doing anything about it? Sir, so there aren't many. Are you going to get a vote Republican? Come on, come on. You're not going to vote Republican. Let's call us spade a spade. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. You can have a billion man marks. If you don't put down a vote like you're in Texas, and get behind somebody who want to run him back and stabs his wife, Rich people have always stayed on top by dividing white people from colored people. But white people got more in common with colored people than they do with rich people. We just got to eliminate them. Eliminate. Eliminate. Who, rich people? White people. Damn. Black people too. Brown people, yellow people. Get rid of them all. All we need is a voluntary, free-spirited, open-ended program of procreative racial deconstruction. Everybody just got to keep fucking everybody till they're all the same color. It's just a coincidence that you were talking about the Jack and Triumph show and I'm here. Thank you so much for having me on your podcast. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, guy makes all those unlistenable podcasts over at Smodcast.com and you're listening to the Two Strangers One Podcast. This is podcasting. You're listening to Two Strangers One Podcast. Subscribe to us on iTunes or on the Stitcher app for Android devices. Please visit two strangers one podcast.net. Now, here's Chris Colon and Paul Pasquillo. Well, hello and welcome to Two Strangers One Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm Paul. And you know what, Paul? Fuck Potomatic. After three years or four years of being a loyal customer, it's weird. Like this this podcast, I don't know. I mean, it must have been, I think we got a couple of months free out of it. But after three years, um, we are transitioning formats so to our loyal listeners i don't know i guess we will you guys already went through with the tsunami faithful podcast but we're going to be switchers where it used to be the podomatic site we are now switching over to soundcloud as per your recommendation yes you were right okay i know you want to hear it yes you're right the because because podomatic you know you would think if, if someone comes to you and says you know what yes i would like to pay my bill early you think it's a yes, sir, my gladly. Now, mind you, like I said in the last podcast, and I hate it that I repeat myself sometimes, but there's 50 fucking buttons when you want to, if you want to upgrade. You can upgrade wherever you like. But if you want to just renew, you have to wait. No, we have automatic billing. No, fuck you. I want to pay now. So because of that, Podomatic, and let me tell you, had they let me pay now, I would have paid. Podomatic is double what SoundCloud is. Told you. Double. I was paying $300 a year for Podomatic. SoundCloud... 135. That being said, I mean, I'm assuming you guys, obviously, if you had any big technical issues, you would have let me know about it. Um, um, the, the only thing that, I mean, honestly, the only thing that happens with SoundCloud is they play this. Like, okay, so if, if SoundCloud, something happens with the RSS feed, mm -hmm. no matter if it plays on SoundCloud or not, it mm -hmm. will take it down from iTunes. Like, it, it'll do something to the iTunes, or wherever it's going, iTunes, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So... You just got to be careful about that, but it, it's only happened once mm -hmm. that I know of. Um, people let us know that kind of shit anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, like, I'd be honest with you, like... And by the way, we weren't the only one. There were some major podcasts that were doing that. I think Kevin Smith, actually. Kevin Smith, all of Kevin Smith's podcasts. Now, I, there's there's one more option. Like, like, the highest option is to, like, to become a partner. Because I think when you become a partner, I think they put ads on it, and you put ads, and, you know, how, whatever... Partner on what? To become a partner on SoundCloud. Because there, there's Pro, which is like six bucks a month, and you upload whatever. No, I think no, you get Pro is like six hours, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Then there's then there's Pro Unlimited, which is what, uh, which is what I opted for, 135 dollars a month. So they literally less than half of what Podomatic was doing, and and I love how when I was complaining to Podomatic uh, about the issues that we're having that I... Not an issue. I want to pay early. What's so fucking hard about it? I want to take care of it now because that money may not be there on the 8th. The 8th and the 9th when I'm due to get charged, that's when New York Comic Con's going on. I don't have time to fucking for them to, to build my fucking account $300 because I may be fucking buying, you know, a Ben Affleck doll or some shit like that. Ben Affleck blow-up doll or something like that. <laughs> So, you know, or Harley Quinn blow-up uh, doll or something like that. Or, yeah, let me switch it up. No, Harley Quinn blow-up doll. But, so... You know, you know. Now, once again, listeners, loyal listeners, thank you for being with us. To new listeners, welcome. 
uh, and I, but once again, I loved how once I complained to Potomatic about wanting to pay early, all of a sudden our numbers jumped up. Like, I don't know what they did or, you know. Like, I, you know, that, that's the thing that was really weird about when we moved away from Potomatic. It kind of seemed like the numbers were inflated. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't have a doubt that we were number one in our category, but I, I kind of had, like, I was seeing, like, really high numbers, and I kind of went, I don't know if those numbers, and I, and I never really said anything to Jose about it. I was like, I don't know. I don't trust those numbers. Because yeah, and it, and once I got a hold high. of it, uh-huh. once I got a hold of that feed, I'm like, something doesn't seem right about this. Like, yeah. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm sure most of that was correct, but... Now that I see, because I use I use um, PodTrack. It's a free it's a free uh, service to track your podcast, which I'll show you how to do. Obviously, at some <laughs> point, um, they they pre- what did he say? Uh, Darrell says Paul Paul has a blow up doll. <laughs> it was a lie. I tell you all lies. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I gotta say, I I, I could honestly say this that um, I've never paid for listens. You know, I've never, I've never, we've never gone that route. But I do think, I think Potomatic sort of, I think they sort of pad your numbers. You know, and and I, you know, I don't want to be I don't, you know, I think, you know, and especially now that we're getting towards the end, I think they want to pad the numbers to kind of like say, oh, look, you're doing well, better they're now. Losing, they're losing a lot of, they're losing a lot more people because of their pricing. Because here's the thing. SoundCloud came around, and now everybody can just, for a really, really cheap price, you can do it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I understand why they're I, trying to, you know, keep customers as best yeah, as they can. I just hope SoundCloud doesn't, like, SoundCloud, please don't fucking, like, in a year or two go, oh, fuck you, we're doubling everything, you know? <laughs> Because they did that shit. I have that thing on my computer, OneDrive. It's like a thing. It comes built in with, like... It comes in, it is... Um, it's, like, built in with Windows. And so... Well, no, if you have a Hotmail or a... Outlook email, it, it also comes with that too. Yeah. So I guess apparently, I think automatically we're supposed to get like two gigs or some shit like that. Yeah. And then like, I get an email, you know, to my, you know, from Microsoft, like, uh, you know, it's going only got, it's going down to half a gig, and if you want space, you know, you have to pay us. And I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't ask for that. I did sign up for it. You know, what I'm saying when I signed up for Microsoft, you know, when I installed Microsoft, it went through. Hey, Danny, what's up? Um. So, like I said, when I did my OneDrive, I didn't subscribe to it. I didn't want that. You know, I mean, yeah, there's Google Drive, there's Dropbox, you know, there's all these cloud services. You know, there's iCloud if I really wanted it. You know, don't all of a sudden hit me up and go, oh, you know. I, I can understand if it was a service I signed up for. Then you want to fucking charge me for space. But uh, fuck that. And That's so why everybody switched to SoundCloud. That's I hope saying. SoundCloud doesn't uh, pull some bullshit move like that. You know, keep your, keep your prices relatively, uh, you know, user-friendly. And I'll be more than happy to use your service. So once again, new listeners of the show, uh, bear with us, or old listeners of the show, bear with us as we switch over to SoundCloud, which means I'm going to have to fucking spend hours upon hours uploading old episodes. Welcome, Chris. Yeah. Welcome. Because this is episode 227, the one we're recording right now. So that's wanna, 227 you know, hours. Do you want to know how long it took me to move all the exclusives and all the podcasts over? Because I have... A fiance and I have two <laughs> jobs and I have whatever. It took me pretty much at least a month. Yeah. Well, so, I, well, because remember, maybe I've been, two months. I've been as of right now, not including this, obviously. Every old episode has a video on YouTube. Right. Well, I've been doing that for fucking months. I've been well. I mean, you can, but then again, I don't have Wi-Fi. I don't have Wi-Fi, and plus, making the videos take you know each video took about like half an hour to forty minutes just to fucking render on my computer. So, uh, but as of right now, as of this recording, as of uh, September 26, 2016, every single episode of Two Strangers One Podcast can be heard on YouTube. Just go on YouTube and search for Two Strangers One Podcast. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, you, once again, you can't, I'm not telling you to uh, click on the advertisers, but if you do that, it would greatly help. <laughs> so, that's one way to support the show. Um, so, once again, uh, you know, Potomatic, you know, you. I was good to you. I was loyal to you. I overpaid you for the past three or four years. Uh, we're parting ways because you don't know how to fucking, you know. Like I said, I'm, I'm asking. I'm saying I want to give you. It's not money. hard. I'm. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not really. Um, when you get everything switched over, you're going to have to switch your iTunes feed too. But it's it's not really that hard. Yeah, it's. Not I bad. mean, whatever email you use to sign up 
for iTunes in the first place, that's what you got to use. And one thing I've been, I haven't done that I was kind of holding out for this was uh, I'm going to see if we can get on the Google Play Store. Which once again, it's not like it's fucking rocket science. Well, but. you got it's what we what like what I just did is we I just got us on Google. Mm-hmm. Um, the problem is is you have to actually change your stupid email to a. A Google email, so then it automatically does it. Well, Two strangers on podcast at gmail dot com. That's <laughs> well. See, you got a good mine. I got like it's like well, I don't even want to say it on here, but it's just like it's different than like podcast at tunamifaithful dot com or whatever. Gotcha. And it's just like, hey Joe, people are gonna get confused and go, "What the hell is this shit?" And I'm gonna be like, "What you talking about?" Yeah. So I, we'll save that for the. We'll save this for a little bit more about the second half of the show. But we are gearing up for New York Comic Con. We are setting up interviews. Um, Who's setting up interviews? Well, no, you're setting up interviews because <laughs> yeah, cause you know what I'm gonna do. If I fucking set up an interview, you're gonna go. Oh, by the you know, I'll say I have an interview at one thirty, and you're like at two o'clock. You have to go do this. And <laughs> you're gonna do that to you know, fuck your one thirty one. You're gonna go to two do the two o'clock one. So I would never do that. What are you talking about? Well, no, no. I'm just saying is I don't know what you're no, but the what no, but you're the interviews you're getting. Let's be honest. Probably take precedent over my like sillier <laughs> interviews. You know, I mean, because I have I have a couple of friends going, and and not friends, friends of the show, people that I've kind of networked with. You know, and I would like to sit and talk to them for a little while. But you know what? If if it's got to wait, an hour, the way the way that this con is going this year, I wouldn't be surprised if we have time for that. Yeah, that's the whole thing. No, I mean, honestly, it's, it's a good it's a good problem. But holy shit, we are so fucking busy busy for New York Comic Con, and and on top of other things. Uh, once again, friends of the show, uh, the um, Adventure Club, uh, Adventure Club podcast, uh, John J. Galbo, friend of the show. Uh, I had mentioned sort of, you know, sort of the whole last episode was about like me getting the press pass. Uh, he had resubmitted his paperwork through his websites, like the Adult uh, Swim Central, yeah, uh, podcast. Ding, 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 ding. He gets his. He gets his. Uh, Oh, so that's how he did it. He okay. got his press pass. I mean, I, I don't, wasn't sure I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm blowing up his spot. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, and Joe says, can we get some sheetrock to, to cover that ceiling? It's a, <laughs> This is punk rock. This is punk rock uh, podcasting. You know? Dude, this is what we get. This is what I get. This is what I pay for. Okay? Yeah, once, so, once, yeah, this is Paul's house. So once I, you know, I, I had, I want to set up. Like the way my room is set up, I kind of have. I shouldn't say I pay for it because it pays for it. So but yeah, but it, you know, we're we're. I mean, this is. I would very much like to have like a, a more professional recording space. But one, I need Wi Fi in my house, and uh, and two, so you, you know, need to it, have a house again. Yeah, I mean, the way my apartment is, I could kind of, I could probably set up a little corner in my bedroom that would like it would have like a cool looking background, posters and shit like that, where we could possibly record. But you know, Paul doesn't want to come to my house. <laughs> No, so, the the, what's what's with these uh what's with these uh, <laughs> sticky tissues all over the place? Uh, <laughs> hi Jen. Um, okay, so let's go. So on my way here today, of course, always a day late and a dollar short coming mm-hmm. to Paul's house, mm-hmm. where I literally I literally got here forty five minutes late, but it was just driving through the fucking. It's you know now fall is finally here, and we're dealing with rain. And, oh, I ru- love it. and rain and rush hour. No, but I'm saying is, yeah, I like the rain. I don't like driving in the rain in a city where people don't know how to fucking drive. And, you know, it shouldn't take me 45 minutes to cross town. That's when true. I'm literally driving from my house to your house, it's probably three miles, four miles, or something like that. But, you know, I mean, that's what we get for recording so early. You know, of course, we kind of have to start recording early because I got to make sure my daughter's in bed, which, you know, she's really, she's sleeping right oh, now. And then we can't forget <laughs> that right there. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. Well, yeah, the 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 Clinton Trump debates start yeah. in about forty eight minutes, so we're gonna try to see what how much we can squeeze out while <laughs> over here. Um, so yeah, so go, drive through Russia. Like I pray for genocide. I was like, where's the where's the giant fucking meteor when I have to sit in traffic? Where are all these people? You know, you know when they have gangs that their initiation is to like shoot random people people on the street. Find the person. I mean, who, I don't know that gang, but okay. No, I'm ahead. saying that, that's always like that urban myth. Like there, there are gangs out there that part of being initiation in the gang is to kill a random person. You have to prove it. That just so uh, if there are any, if there are any gangs, uh, <laughs> Joe says try Manhattan. Yes, I, I, I mean, I can't complain. I, I can't complain. Yes, growing up in Manhattan, I know Manhattan. That's the whole thing is that 
generally, Rochester is not bad when it comes to traffic. But when it comes, to, I mean, you know, there's people who can't fucking drive here. But Rochester is just a fucking nightmare. It's taking 45 minutes to go four miles. Um, but, uh, you know, like I was saying, there's gangs who, like, their initiation is to kill just a random person. I say, look for the person who's not ready to go when the light turns green. So, you know, <laughs> I think that'll motivate a couple individuals. Because I just cannot... You know, it, it just it blows my mind when there's someone sitting there, and the light turns green, and they're just sitting there, like like you weren't they weren't like the light eventually wasn't going to fucking turn green. Uh, oh, okay. So so Ben says, "Go Sabers!" Tonight's the first night of the preseason. Uh, so Jesus, you got the debates, you got Monday Night Raw, which mm-hmm. I guess starts. I know started already. So if you're you know, and once again, feel free to leave this open. Open up another. Uh, open up another tab in your browser and do your usual Facebook. Uh, leave us in Fuck the background. That. Share this. Share this. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course, share us. But you know, go. <laughs> make sure people watch us. <laughs> Darrell says, "Give me the green light." Yes, Darrell, please. Uh, oh, we need you to take at a, at a couple of key intersections here in Rochester with a sniper rifle. Uh, I just and so you could be like miles away. Uh, Joe and Joe says, "Yeah, Monday night football today also." So we got Monday night football, the Sabers. Actually, that might be interesting because there might because that's in North Carolina, as we know. Oh, so, that's uh, right. Yeah, yeah, you know, we could talk about uh, and also uh, just hi to Kaiser and hi to Josh. Uh, Josh is Josh is my well, Kaiser. I went to school with, and Kaiser I will credit as the gentleman who introduced me to the band Corn. And I'm talking about 1992, Kaiser 93. Old. Gotcha. Where where he goes like he gave me he gave me his Walkman and he said uh, I need you to hear. I'm this. gonna say this one more time. You're old. I'm an old man. Yes, I'm an old fart. When I card people now for beer at my job, uh, there there are people who were born when I was in high school. I have comic books older than these people. I have video games older than these people. Uh, and also, what's up to Josh? Josh, who is my grandparents' godson, so I'm his god uncle. <laughs> so, so John, yeah, Kaiser, yeah, Kaiser Corn. Yeah, he was the one, and it was, and it, I I'll still remember it was shoots and ladders, because I mean, Kaiser was telling uh, that that was the that they were talking about like the plagues, ring around because they're doing ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes. When they had to burn the bodies, we all fall down. So, um, so uh, thanks a lot, thanks a lot, and I still like Corn. I mean, they're like on tour right. As a matter of fact. Okay, so as we're here uh, right now, Kelsia Paul's, uh, hopefully my daughter's resting right now, uh, Kelsia Paul's wife or fiancé or whatever, what is she or she's your wife? No, no. no. Pretty yeah, much my wife. She's pretty much your wife, but fiancé. Um, has, uh, you know, hopefully my daughter's resting right now. Now she's in, so, first, she's in first grade. Go on, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. So, so did you move to the new store? Oh, I moved to the new store. But not that it fucking matters because uh, I'm the bitch now. I'm, they're lending me out to other stores. So, okay, so I was at a store, for those following the podcast, um, quit talking about the Black Plague. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's Darrell's nickname now. Uh, so <laughs> You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. Oh, man. But there's a great video online of... I'm assuming it's some like ISIS guy getting snipered. Have you seen that? There's like a, he's like, and he's kind of like peeking out over a wall, and he's going like, he has, you know, he has a machine gun or whatever, and he's shooting a couple shots, he's shooting, a, and he kind of like pokes up a little bit, and there's another, and he's kind of standing, and just, poof, just the fucking, the whole top of his head gets blown off. Oh. It's out there. We get a chance to watch it. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so Joe asked, and uh, 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 thank you. For everyone interacting, I like that because I have topics here, but I'd be more than happy to interact with the audience. Uh, Joe asks, "How's Layla? Uh, she's doing good. Uh, like I had mentioned, like the last episode. Right now, we have we, we're at peace. <laughs> you know, the, we've laid down our arms. Uh, there's no fighting right now. You know, the usual. Um, you know, there's no baby mama drama right now. Let me knock on wood as I say that. You know, we're getting along." just well she's doing well and once again when she's clean and acting like an adult we can get along just fine so uh you know so there's no problems there knock on wood you know um let me see jennifer says fiance does paul need a professional wedding officiant per chance oh that's right because jen 
it's I believe if I'm not mistaken simplyperfectweddings.com I believe is Jen's uh, site so for all your <laughs> not right now <laughs> wedding officiant needs if you're in the Rochester area not uh, right now <laughs> soon maybe but not right now and then oh and so Josh says God bless my little princess thank you um, oh yeah and the Kaiser says you got one of the most durable kids I've ever seen you're having a daughter rocks yes it does it makes me it makes me understand women a lot more, <laughs> you know, having a daughter. I mean, I'm, I'm still a miserable prick and everything like that, but, you know, I understand, like, now, like, I have to be an example for her. I have to be, you, know, you know, they say, you know, when girls get older... Uh, you're an example? Well, I'm just saying is when girls get older, girls tend to date guys that are like their dad. Fuck that, I'm buying... Oh, <laughs> DeRussell, fuck that, I ain't buying no tux. Well, okay, okay. So yes, you are buying a tux. So Jen says, simply perfect weddings. Yeah, okay. I, I, I had a feeling, I know, for some reason, I wanted to make sure I didn't fuck that up. Uh, Darrell says, fuck that, I ain't buying no tux. I mean, what, what, is he, what did he just say? What, do you, what the he's, hell did he he's, say? Well, oh, he's going to show up in Timberlands? And... No, he's, he, I, Darrell dresses sharp. He'll probably just come in one of those, you know. Yeah, I, he'll probably show up in one of like a white suit. Well, custom shit. suit or something yeah, like exactly. that, you know. He goes, I'll show up in a pair of overalls and some Timberlands. <laughs> they got an eye, Joe. Uh, so, man, this ain't the South, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can be around all these Yankees. I don't know, Darrell, have you ever been, uh, well, you're, well, we got you, have, have you ever been up north? Have you, what's 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 the nor- most north you've ever been? Ever been to New York City or anything like that? Or? I think the north you've been is in Alaska, probably. <laughs> oh, you're in Alaska? Okay, that's that's real north. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How north have you been in, in, in the continental United Wait, let's States? let's see. Uh, so, okay. Uh, back to your, your st- back, back to my your story. store bitch now. Okay, so I'm a store bitch now because I'm the low man on the totem pole, and they got me in a store, and they're like, okay, now here's here's your regular store, and here's a set of keys, and here's an alarm code, and here's the you know the codes to the safe. Oh, by the way, you're working in this store Wednesday, and you're working in that store Thursday, and you're working in this store Friday. Like, I'm there, but I'm not there. So, and I'm back. I'm back in the fucking hood. I'm back at the store that I don't want to be in, and. Uh, so, you know, they lend me out. They're lending me out to my old store. So back to the fucking hood, and I swear to God, it very much reminds me. Oh, Joseph. Uh, oh, oh, West Point. Darrell says he's, that's the most north he's been. West Point, Virginia. Uh, and Joe Santana said, "Remember to pronounce the R in Timberland." Yeah, Timberland is the is the music producer. Timberland, uh, Timberland, are the the boots, and, and Alaska. Darrell says. Uh, and Jen says, I've seen a wedding guest and cut off on a wife, Peter. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on the wedding. I mean, if that's, you know, if that's the kind of, hey, look, if you got a family or you got friends that are just like that, you know, look, at least they're there for you, there for your special day, you know. Oh, okay, we say Timba in NYC. As Joe says, and Kaiser says, much luck to you guys. I got to go. I understand how it is. I try to watch uh, live streams when I see people, people put them up, but you can't watch them all the time. Like I said, if you happen to be on your computer, put us on in another tab. Uh, watch us. Feel free to uh, engage. And then, uh, you know, right, we'll hopefully we'll be off the air before the debates start. Um, so Darrell <coughs> says, yeah, be tight. Son. Yeah, Darrell, uh, we, you know, once again, you, you, you don't appear for the bachelor party. You know, not that we're going to, no, we're not going to do anything that's going to get Paul in trouble. At least not, not in trouble. <laughs> no, with, you know what? You know what's going to happen? He won't be in trouble with his fiance, or, but he may be in trouble with the law. But, uh... <laughs> My ass ain't getting drunk. Fuck both of you. <laughs> oh, so Jen says he got kicked out halfway through the reception. Wow, that's I mean, but it would be like uh, I would be think halfway through the wedding, the reception, the reception is a reception. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But then again, I guess if you're up to that kind of uh, if you're up, if you're if you're if you're showing up with cut off on a fucking wife beater, I guess you know you're probably an asshole anyway. <laughs> Just good, clean fun. No, seriously, Darrell, we got it. We're taking Paul. We're gonna go to the fucking. We're gonna go to the gun range or paintball or something. Like shoot, shoot Paul right in the face right before the fucking oh, wedding. Fuck so a big giant, <laughs> big giant welt in the middle of his fucking forehead. Big black and blue that we need like makeup to cover up and stuff like that. Yeah, well, let me put it to you this way: If you want my fiance to kill you, <laughs> that's the word. That's the first time. Uh, yeah, no, we'll do. Well, she'll look at you and be like. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Of here. We, 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 me and Darrell dragging you into the into the into the church or wherever you guys getting married. Um, Why is he in a body bag? Don't ask. 
Oh, so Joe, Joe's, uh, I know Joe's, Joe's, your son was in the, in the, in the service, right? Uh, Apache helicopter crew chief. I, I, I kind of scrolled away a little bit before I got a chance to read what you said. Uh, shoot ball in his ass cheeks. <laughs> I mean, so, so Paul can't sit down in his own way. <laughs> well, he'll be sitting down with just tears in his eyes. Oh, I can't. don't like you, Darrell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, once again, I'm the bitch at my store. And I don't like so it. So you're basically just going back to your old store. I'm going back to my old store. And then the other store that's also in the ghetto that's, like, not too far from my old store. Why are, Why are they doing that to you? Because when the store closed down, two of us went over to the new store. And the new store is the corporate store. It's where the district mm-hmm. manager works out of. Yeah. But we're both two full-time employees. And that's a lot of extra hours to say, like, to justify, you know, on the payroll. So... Since I have less seniority than the other person, I'm being fucking passed around like a fucking joint. You know, I'm getting passed around like a bitch in fucking prison. You know, <laughs> my fucking at my asshole. Well, well, at least you're getting laid. There you yeah, go. you know, yeah, for <laughs> once. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 being passed around like a fucking joint at a fucking Cheech and Chong fucking concert or something. I mean, Durrell would pass you around, so you're good. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's puff, that's puff, the pass. <laughs> that's the deal with the uh, yeah puff puff pass. <clears throat> But you know, I uh, love it. And it's like I swear, it reminds me of like when I work when I used to work in the prison, where I would go on vacation. You go on vacation, and and then when I was a, when I worked for the state, we had six weeks vacation a year. I'm not exaggerating. And but we you, they let you you can only take it in two week chunks. So I would take two weeks off. You come back, and it's like nothing has changed because in jail, it's like it's like a time fucking standstill. And that's how it is in the fucking hood. You know what I'm saying? I I, I came to the fucking store, and. It's the same 50 alcoholics buying beer. You know, the same 30 alcoholics. Everyone remembers, hey, how you doing? How's this? How's that? You know, nothing fucking changes. Uh, let me see. What the fuck did he say? Uh, you got to shut down procedures, deuces. Oh, it's a, uh, Dar- Darrell's got to go and take care of stuff. Uh, Paul, we're making sure uh, we use the hand banana on you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but okay. Whatever. So, uh... So yeah, so at at work, I'm sort of you know being passed around like a little bitch. Um, yep, you are a little bitch. So they got me going back to the, the ghetto store. Um, um, okay. So here I am, a grown ass man. I'm halfway decent educated. Oh boy, I don't know what the hell's going on up there. It's the girls. They should be in bed right now. Yes. Go on. So I'm trying to help my daughter with this core math shit that they got and let me tell you i i would like to think of myself as like a halfway decent educated guy oh they shove they shove stuff down these kids throats my kid my kid is actually in a 15 15 in one classroom Mm -hmm. and even before he got in there they were trying to in in an integrated classroom they were just trying to like shove Every that, that's what the that's what this whole new system, educated system, is. It's like here, let's see how much we can cram into you, fucking every single grade, and that and it's like, I mean, you got fucking homework, first grade. What the, when when did, when did we all of a sudden start getting homework in first grade? Yeah, oh yeah, homework. And, and don't get me wrong, none of it's done over the weekend, mm-hmm. but it's like these kids, like my son is like, I don't want to do homework. Um, I'm sure he's not the only kid. And it's like, why are my why is I never got homework until I was like in middle school. Yeah. No, well so I mean like I like not in first grade. And even second grade when I was a kid, second like even second grade you kinda got like real fucking lightweight work. Um Josh says, um, you need those days off in the prison. You need them working days. Because if it wasn't for the sixty days off, you would feel like you're a jailbird, which is true. Yeah. You know, when you're a CEO, when you're a correction officer, you're you're doing time on the installment plan. You know, you're doing it eight hours at a time. It's like bend me over. Yeah, <laughs> it's just you know, it's just my. I just find it interesting that if like it's like fucking time stood still. It's like I never left. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to you know. So like they got this thing right now where like they want my daughter to know what the factors of five are. Not factors, not the right word. But they'll have five in a bubble. Then they got two lines branching out, and they got three, and then the other bubbles blank. Obviously, the answer is two. But, like, I don't know how the fuck to explain that to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I'm, I'm putting a line <laughs> down a piece of paper, and I'm like, okay, if you got three over here, how much more do you yeah. need to make five? You know, 
I think parents need a refresher course. I think parents... The parent, the parent teacher nights. They should give parents like, okay, here's no, here's know. how we're teaching this to your child because so you can reinforce it when you get back to the house. And I'm a, like I said, I think I'm a halfway decent, intelligent person, and I don't know how to explain this to my daughter because that's not how it was taught to me. So I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know how to. It, what it is is they they play this game called. I'm not going to give these kids flashcards because that's the thing. Like when we used to do this shit, mm -hmm. we used to have flashcards and would get ingrained in your head. Mm -hmm. Now they don't even do that. It doesn't even feel like they do that. At least it's just like, well, you know what? We're just going to do whatever, and then you know you're on <laughs> your way. So I just I'm I'm really flustered. And Jen says once you go to fourth and fifth grade, uh, they do get homework over the weekend. Which yeah, I mean that's that, that makes sense. I mean, but when I was a kid, like I said, I don't even remember. I think, like I said, I think we got homework in second grade, but even then, it was like super duper light homework. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, well, they, they used to do like we used to over the summer. We used to have to do like reading reports. I don't even think they do that anymore because they decided that it was too much for the kids, which it is. You're, if you're you're, you're for the summertime, mm -hmm. it's the summertime. Why are you doing a book report over the summertime? Like that's. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and uh, you know what it's like. I mean, I f I feel like I'm fucking sinking a quicksand because it's like I'm not a person who you know. This is my first time with my kid. Okay, yeah. so Josh says it's a new math concept. It isn't parent friendly, no. And then Jen says I Google a ton. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess yeah. I could probably have to go on YouTube and see like how did how do they <laughs> teach it so I could enforce reinforce it in my house. Well, there's some things like um. Like when they do adding, subtracting, fractions, I have to go back and look and see what it is. Mm -hmm. Because I don't remember that shit. Yeah. I did that so long ago, I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> like, I mean, my daughter knows her math because she doesn't understand the concept. So she'll see like the five and the three, and she'll go eight. And I'm like, no, well, that's and, not and what we're son, looking for. We're not looking for you to add five and three. My son does like, my it's son like, knows subtraction, uh, addition, and he can do multiplication. He can't do all of it, but he can do most of the multiplication. Mm -hmm. Problem is, is, is the division is, is kind of hard. Is his like weak spot there? Mm -hmm. But there know. again, you know, these they're they're shoving so much down these kids' throats these days. It's like, you know, you, you expect them to know everything in one grade, and it's like, no, you need to take it a little slower so that these people can get. We this. have to compete with the Chinese. <laughs> And then Jen says, uh, my kids in school, they still do summer reading reports. It's complete bullshit. You know, and it's... It is. I don't know. It's... I, I just... I feel I feel like I'm doing my daughter a disservice because I don't know how to fucking explain it to her. And like I said, and that's coming from me, a halfway, halfway intelligent guy. How does... You know, <laughs> some people aren't blessed that well. You know, they mean well. You know, I don't understand how someone who may not have the education try to explain that to a child or whatever. Um, you know, I just feel bad about that. Um, okay, you know, I guess real quick, you know, the, you know, we can mention the riots, like you mentioned, there's a game in North Carolina, there were the riots, uh, riots again, I don't want to get into it, I guess, this, we've been having a good vibe this episode, I don't, I'm not in the mood to get all fucking negative and shit like that, but, you know, it's, it's here we go again, bullshit, you know, I don't, I don't want to get too much into that, um, oh, please, let me get into it, come on. <laughs> Then you know it's funny because with the riots in with the riots in fucking Baltimore, like not Baltimore. I mean uh, the riots in North Carolina. I, yeah. I, I have Baltimore here because it was like it reminded me of the of the riots in Baltimore. Um, you know <coughs> we seem to forget that you know there were fucking bombs in Manhattan the other day. Yeah, fucking homemade bombs. Uh, <coughs> which I, I mean, and New Jersey. Yeah, which I think you know. Thank whoever you want to thank that you know whatever hired of power you want to fucking thank that no one was hurt. Two you thieves know. found that pressure yeah. cooker in New York. <laughs> that is still hilarious. Two they're thieves. like they're like they looked at it and they're like I don't want this shit. Is Let it? me take the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a nice bag just left because I guess the the, yeah. guy, the guy left the bomb was dressed in a suit or something. And no, he, he, yeah, he had it in a bag. He left the bag with the cook pressure cooker in it, mm -hmm. and then these two thieves come along, going, "Oh, I want this bag!" And they open up the bag. They're like, "What the fuck is this? I don't yeah. want this." And it was like, I, I want to say it was a Saturday night. I could be wrong. Might have been a Friday. And how the hell that didn't go off at when they took it out of that bag? Mm -hmm. I don't know. And Chelsea, let me tell you, Chelsea, <coughs> the the west side of Manhattan on Twentieth Street, and I used to work. I would say maybe four or five blocks from where, where those stuff. You know, Chelsea on a Friday or Saturday night is fucking rocking and rolling. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, yeah. you know, you know. thank God no one got hurt because that could have been really well, fucking Well, see, that's bad. the thing. Like, you can't, that's why they were saying that this this person 
left the bomb, left the bomb like <laughs> where he did was because, you know, they can't he can't do it in the middle of a subway because it's well guarded. Yeah, yeah can't. people will say some shit. He'll, he probably would have gotten tackled or something. And 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 you know they I guess, tried to roll up that race in in New Jersey, which actually got delayed, and it went <laughs> off. It went off at the time that the that it was supposed to start, and because it got delayed, nobody got hurt. Mm-hmm. Which it was just like really, yeah. And um, so I, I just kind of have that in my notes. Um, okay, so they released the movie Sully. Well, you know the the one about yeah, Sullenberger about it's been the, doing really well about the guy. Uh, you know what they sucked in a goose in the engine or whatever and had to land. Now I happened to be working on the west side of Manhattan when that happened, and I remember seeing because the plane had you can't say landed in the water. Landing isn't the proper term, <laughs> and it didn't crash in the water. But you know, let's for the lack of a better term, a water landing in the water, and um, you know it's a river. It's the Hudson River. Uh, the guy, you know, the the the, the plane. Was move like not because of the not because of the engines, just the flow of the river. The plane was fucking coming down the Hudson River, and I remember I was working on the West Side, like literally right off the West Side Highway, and I remember looking out the window and seeing the plane better than it was on TV, <laughs> you know. And 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 you know, of course, he'll probably <coughs> never hear this, but thank you, Sully, for doing your job and not fucking, you know. I mean, you know. Of course, I'm pretty sure he wants to survive. All you know, <coughs> from what I'm, from what I understand, because I've I've heard a couple interviews with the people that were on the plane. You know, he his only he got on the on the intercom and said, uh, "This is your captain, brace for impact." <laughs> that's all he said. Uh, I, I think that's all he time. That's all he had time to say. Yeah, probably. Um, but you know, I mean, of course, after 9/11, we're all watching the skies. We're all making sure fucking bad shit doesn't happen again. And you know, thank God that the plane didn't crash. You know, you know, because a few degrees up in the air, he could have crashed into my job. Or, or you know, what I'm saying like, yeah. you know, I mean, I hate to make it selfish and all about me, but you know, thank you for not <laughs> letting me get killed, Sully. Yeah. Um, oh, the, the Josh says. Joshua says, "How about the guy that kicked it? A guy kicked the a guy kicked the bomb or something like that? Or? Maybe he did. I don't oh, know. Okay. Don't know. All right. So." Um, I think we're going to take a break on the actual podcast, and we'll be back with more dick and fart jokes. This episode of Two Strangers, One Podcast is brought to you by Comics Etc., 1115 East Main and North Goodman at the Hungerford Building, door number 8. Find out more information at comicsetc.biz or like them on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash comics etc1. Click and Hit, enhancing the experience for all recreational smokers. Click and Hit is a one-handed portable vaporizer. This smoking pipe has a compact four-stage design, complete with a built-in, windproof, butane refillable torch lighter. The large burn chamber holds your stash of legal herb or pipe tobacco. Click the button to ignite and inhale as usual. When you are done, put it back in your pocket for later. Smoke anytime with the touch of a button. No more carrying around grinders and tins. You can leave the pipe, rolling papers, and even your lighter at home. The click and hit cordless vaporizer is no bigger than a normal cigar, making it the world's smallest and most discreet vaporizer. It's perfect for use in small places or shared rooms. It's efficient getting five to eight drawers from your packed chamber. It's affordable at just $19.95 each. Buy three and the shipping is free. Buy four and you get the fifth one free. Visit www.click-the-letter-n-hit.com. That's clickandhit.com. And now for listeners of Two Strangers One Podcast, you can use promo code STRANGERS and receive 10% off your purchase at clickandhit.com. That's promo code STRANGERS for 10% off your purchase. And we're back. Okay, so now the second part of the show for those who are new, for new listeners, and for those watching. Uh, it's the nerdy news. Um, Can we do that still? We still do the nerdy news. I mean, you know, not that it sounds weird because there isn't like... Here's some nerdy news. I have a new iPhone. Oh, it's ah. beautiful. The is, iPhone SE. Is that the one without the headphone jack? No. Oh. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Uh, I ain't one of these idiots that's like, all right, I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to take a drill. <laughs> yeah, there's people... Hey, 
That can't be real. That can't be real people fucking drilling. The, the, well, I think people are just doing it as publicity now. But, yeah. And they're probably those guys that are like, you know what? I'm going to go buy like 500 iPhones. Actually, ironically, there's a guy that went and bought like eight iPhones for his dog. Yeah. It was a, his father Chinese is super, his father was yeah, some like Chinese billionaire or some shit yeah. like that. And he bought iPhones and I'm for like, his dog. Your dog's not going to use any of those iPhones. Why are you doing? Well, I mean, like, I mean, you want to talk about people that don't need to use, don't need money. That's a person that doesn't need money. There's a U- there's a YouTube guy that's kind of famous, like the Cranky Grandpa or some shit like that, Angry Grandpa, and it's about an old man that always kind of loses his shit. And then like, there's a video. It was like right when the Xbox One came out, like right like. He in this, they're pretending. It's it's so obviously fake, but they're playing it up like it's real. That the grandfather's mad at the the grandson, so he puts the Xbox One on, in the lawn and drives over it with like a riding lawnmower and destroys yeah. it. Which, okay, these people are doing it for views. So you know what I'm saying? Okay, was it a crazy investment? Yeah, for four hundred dollars. But I mean, if it gets you fucking a million views, you know that that a video like that will pay for itself. So. You know, I have a feeling that people like drilling in their iPhone, they're doing it to just to have like a viral video going on or some shit like that. So, you know, uh, I I just can't believe... And now they're talking about they want to fucking make a MacBook without a fucking headphone jack. Why? It's like it's like the simplest fucking technology. Just leave it in Well, here, here, here's the thing. Here. They want to make everything Bluetooth? Okay, fine. Here's That's the great. Like, this, this right here... Bluetooth is nice and cheap, but this is an i This is the iPhone SE. This came out before... This was the newest iPhone mm-hmm. before the, the, the iPhone 7. I'm not going to get the iPhone 7 mm-hmm. because there's no point. Because I, I, I guarantee you what's going to end up happening is there's going to be people that are going to say, I'm not buying the iPhone unless you bring back the jack. And they're going to do a smaller version of the iPhone 7, and it's going to have the, have the, it's jack, the jack. So I, I'm not, I'm not going to be worried about it. But here's the other thing, too. Like, <clears throat> if you guys are so hell-bent on not having... A, an iPhone jack on your iPhone. Why are you selling? Why are you buying the phone in the first place and then selling it out? Well, it's well. There are there unfortunately are just the fucking early adopters. They just Idiots. want the new fucking toy. They want to. They want to prove to everyone how fucking wonderful they are because they have the money to waste to fucking get a phone. And especially now that the phone companies are letting you upgrade after a year instead of two years, you know. But you know what they're doing? They're also doing this thing because here's the thing. For two years, I actually, my last plan was one of those AT&T things where I got like my iPhone for like 100 bucks or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. This one is through that new AT&T Next thing, which I fucking hate. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Yeah, you can you can get a new iPhone in whatever, in like a year. a year or two years. Mine is like $30. It's, it's uh, what is it? I think it's $14 per month. For 30 months. Mm-hmm. Here's the problem. I'm not going to get a phone after this. I'm probably, as long as this works, mm-hmm. as long as this survives. You're going to drive that fucker into the ground. I'm going to drive this fucker <laughs> into the ground. You want to know why? Because this is a 60, I got a 64 gig iPhone. Mm-hmm. Because you know what this does <laughs> all fucking day long. Mm-hmm. I got to update TunamiFaithful.com. I got to update your shit. Mm-hmm. And you, you sit there and go, oh, I forgot about to put this live on the Facebook page. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, uh, the artist that I represent and all that other stuff, like, this right here is like my fucking computer. I mean, my computer's right here, but there's this. So, I mean, I that's how I, that's how I do everything. So now I can do video, now I can put everything on here and not worry about it. And this is the fastest fucking phone I've ever had. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's all nice and shiny and new, and a year from now, they're like, oh, no. iPhone 7, no, iPhone not, 8 comes out, oh, that's fucking bullshit. I mean, I'm not I saying you, to, but I'm saying people in general. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm getting to the age, though, where I'm just like, I need something that just does what I need to do, mm-hmm. and then I'm fucking well, good. The same way, the same way our parents were like, I don't need a cell phone. I'm pretty oh, sure I love, parents, I, I love that. Like, I love parents, that. We're but gonna see, be, we're gonna be like, here's, I don't, I, I want a headphone jack. <laughs> let me, let me tell you, and our kids are gonna be like, what the fuck? You need a headphone? Everything's Bluetooth now. Let me, t- let me tell you about my. Well, Bluetooth has been around for years. Well, though, but, well yeah, no, but I'm saying, I mean, I mean my, it, my, my, my car out there that yeah, I just works got is and it's Bluetooth. wonderful, and I get it, you know. But that's the whole thing is that we're st- we're of the generation where like I want a hardwired fucking thing, and our kids are gonna grow no, up saying we're, we're you're an idiot because you don't need hardwired. You got Bluetooth that works just fine. We're more of the generation that wants to talk face to face. We're not the generation that's like, here, I'm going to text you and do a relationship over the phone. 
No, no, that's not that's not who this genera- our generation is. Because we're, I mean, we're within. They the want 10 wires. Years. What's gonna happen? What's gonna, they're gonna be? There's gonna be eventually microphones are gonna be fucking Bluetooth. Everything. They're gonna be your glasses. Gonna be no, 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 no. What's gonna happen? Is no is your U- glasses. There's gonna be no USB ports on a fucking laptop. No, Everything's it's gonna not, be Bluetooth. You no, know, what you're not understanding is, is it's not gonna be iPhone. It's gonna be iGlasses soon. Because that everything's gonna be right through your glasses. You're gonna get in the accident fifty times. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a driving option where it's like, sorry. Chris Cologne, you cannot use your eyeglasses because you're driving. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, so, and then when you stop, you can use them, and then when you start moving again, you can't use them. Yeah. It'll be something stupid like that, but he, here's the point that I'm trying to make. Like, my mother, for example, yes, okay, they both have cell phones, and they still have a landline. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, and don't get me wrong, I, I, I wouldn't mind just having a landline and fucking throwing this out and whatever sometimes. But here, here's the thing, like, my mother refuses to text. She's like, you need to call me. I can't, I'm not going to text you. My father texts, mm-hmm. but, you know, it's all about, like, conversation. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, like, we've lost kind of thing in, our te- in all this technology, and it's, it, it's something that we won't get back, unfortunately. Well, so. Like, I mean, okay, we do this for the podcast, but I don't talk to anybody else, not really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I chat with people on about Facebook, but even then, it, chatting is more like when I communicate with people now, it's more just the exchange of information. As in, okay, what are you doing this weekend? Or you know, or, or okay, I did this, and okay, what are you going to do? And you know, it's more like it's more information. It's not. There's no. I I don't have any really like informal conversations with anybody. Well, I, mean, it's, it's, I don't have any fucking friends. <laughs> it's like, I have friends, but you know, everyone, all my all my friends are adults and kind of have lives and kids and responsibilities. Well, think about this. It's like my fiance gets my gets my Malibu, right? Mm-hmm. Because her car goes, so I got a car. I mean, it's not any better than my Malibu, but you know, it gets better gas mileage, whatever. It's actually better because I'm the one that does the most mileage anyways. Mm-hmm. Anyways, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is like, she goes to flip the lights on, and she's like, I'm like, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm turning the lights on. I'm like, no. It's automatic. Oh, you don't have to. Yeah, everything is auto now. Like, mm-hmm. And it's been that way for like the past, mm-hmm. it's been that, like, that way for at least almost 10 years now. Mm-hmm. And she's like. Oh, I've never had a car like that. And I'm looking at her like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, yeah, well, and then I'm this, like, like, she's sitting here, instead of texting me, she hits Siri, because I gave her my iPhone, huh. which is an iPhone 5C, which, I mean, I I could have stuck with that, but A, her phone was slow as shit, and I was tired of hearing her go, I fucking hate this phone, and almost throw it across the room. And then B, like, I wanted a more powerful iPhone, so that way I could take care of things. And then I don't got to go buy another one. You know what I'm going to end up having to get for this? Another OtterBox. Probably in about two, three years. That's yeah. it. That's it. If it lasts. If it isn't been made me tough. I mean, the, but, only thing, the only thing that I that I get concerned about is like the port where you put the, the charger in because you're in and out. I know it sounds sick. In and out, in and out, in and out. It, and out, get, it out. gets pocket length built up in yeah, there. Shit like you that, know, yeah. And then, you know, at some point that's going to go. So then I'm going to have to get a phone. But... <laughs> You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm good with that. I mean, unless somebody, unless Apple comes to me and says, "Fuck you, you can't use this anymore." Mm-hmm. That's what I'm gonna have. Yeah. And it, well, just I just want to address the, the couple of that. Jen says uh, the elimination of the jack is to make uh, room for the hardware, uh, which okay, I get with the iPhone. You know, it is funny how like the, the Jen, it's not to do that. This, this, to, it's this. It's. I mean, I have a feeling it's, it's too, to get rid of so everyone can use Apple Pay on their phone. No, 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 no. It, it's to get those it, those headphones to get the six, so that you have to pay one hundred and twenty dollars for little earbuds that are so fucking easy to lose. Yes, you know. Um, so and then oh and um, also you know it's funny like you know on the other side Samsung phones are getting fucking bigger, mm-hmm. <laughs> so there's more space for. Well, the you know, iPhone S is. I mean, it's it's not as big as this paper, but probably, like, I mean, like, if you did, like, a small, like, a square like this mm-hmm. in here, that's the iPhone, that's the bigger oh, so iPhone 6. Bigger. You know, they did, oh, we have like, an see, AMOLED that's what they screen. did, is they did, like, an iPhone, they did an iPhone 6C, an iPhone 6S, and then they did the SE, because people are like, I don't want to, I don't need a phone that's, like, 
you know, it, it, what, what the iPhone S was, 6S was doing was trying to be, like, a Galaxy No. Mm-hmm. Fuck that shit. Like, all I need is just this small phone so I can do my shit, watch my videos, watch the porn. I, I mean, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, like, you yeah. know. So, what else? And what so, else Danny there? says, um, he has an iPhone, it's three years old, it's the 5S, and he got the, the new Asperia. He prefers the iPhone. He gave the Asperia away. He said, texting sucks. Uh, Jen says, screw the OtterBox. eBay, eBay, the phrase silicone, which is C-Y-L-I-C-O-N-E cases. Way cheaper, just as good. Yeah, because Otter, why you still work at Radio Shack? Fucking OtterBox. No, like you got to understand. No, 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 no. See, here, here's, can, can, I, can I clue you people in on something? You can go to Best Buy right now and price match anything you want. So this right here, this little thing that's supposed to be expensive, mm-hmm. I think it retails at like Best Buy and that for like forty nine ninety nine or whatever. Mm-hmm. This only cost me twenty bucks. Why? Because oh, I price matched it on Amazon. <laughs> so fuck that. You know, like you know, and and here's the other thing. I've gone I've gone on this computer tonight because I got to get her a new one for the phone that I gave her. Mm-hmm. I can get one of those cases for like fourteen ninety nine. Mm-hmm. What the ones that are really expensive are those? Um, I can't. I think it's called Life Proof or whatever it is. But they're like it, it like engulfs your phone. Mm-hmm. You could throw it into the water, and nothing will happen. Mm-hmm. You can drop it on the ground as hard as you want, and nothing will happen mm-hmm. because that that's so good. But this right here, like I can just sit there and do this all day long. Ah! And nothing's wrong. <laughs> I know. I just, you know what I mean. Like, there's nothing wrong. Like, you know? Traumatic stress over here in my chest. Don't fucking do that like, again. Look, please. see, you know, it's not broken. Yeah, it's not broken. You know why? Because it doesn't break on an outer box, and that's why I get them. I got gotcha. you. And, and it, it was funny because I'm getting this phone at Best Buy the other day, and this girl is like, "Oh, I, my phone cracked," and blah blah blah. She's talking to the one guy because I'm waiting. The, their system went down, so I'm waiting. And I didn't have anything to do anyways. I was just shooting the shit with the guy. And, and she says to me, she's like, I said to her, I was like, well, so get an outer box for it. She's like, oh, but they're so big and bulky and it makes it heavier. And I'm like, here's my phone with an outer box on it. Mm-hmm. Does that feel heavy to you? She's like, no. no. And, I, and I did this right in front of her. I dropped it on the ground. I'm like, look. Because she wants to put it in her back pocket and she, in her tight fucking jeans. There's a problem with that? But I'm saying, is that <laughs> God knows how much money Apple has made over women who want to look good in tight jeans. Yeah, but they you can't. Wanna, you can't you really put an iPhone much. in your front pocket if you're wearing tight you jeans. You want to know what the best? So you put it in the back pocket, then you forget that it's back there. And then you sit down to crack the fuck out of the screen. You want to know what the best invention, the best, the thing that probably makes the most money? Mm-hmm. This right here. Yeah, but a girl, want to know a why? girl in tight jeans isn't gonna fucking buy an outer box. Yeah, she until, wants a cute little sexy. Yeah, fucking but see, here's the thing. Here's the Android thing. phone. Here's the thing. Or, or an, you know, whatever Apple here's the thing. iPhone or whatever. You want to know why? You want to know why this is doing really well? Because. People drop their fucking phone, they destroy it, and then they find out how much it is to repair it, and then they find out, oh, I only have to pay 20 bucks to protect it. Yeah. I, I had that phone that she has right now for over two years. Yeah. It is still brand new. Yeah, but the still chick, fucking the brand chick shoving a fucking phone in her back pocket doesn't She can not shove it in her tits for all that fucking No, I'm saying, but she's put it, she's put, <laughs> she wants her cute little fucking phone, her cute phone. little fucking thing, it has nothing to do with... Has nothing to do with with like if it's gonna last well. They yeah. want it. They want to look. To, they want it to look cute, and they're gonna shove it in their fucking back pocket and not pay attention to sit down. Well, okay. you know what? Hey, yeah. it is okay. what it is. All right, enough of the fucking phone talk. It's driving me nuts over here. Okay, uh, sad news uh, in the nerdy community: uh, the passing of C. Martin Croker, Clay Martin Croker, yeah. uh, best known as the voice of Maltar, Zordak. And I didn't. I learned a couple I, name, couple people on um, 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 Aqua Teen Hunger. Hunger Force, yeah. In particular, Doctor Weird. That behold, oh, you yeah. know that guy. So, uh, you know, and there was a real, real touching. I know you do the Tanami Faithful podcast, and there was a real touching uh, tribute to him. Because I guess was Moltar a host of? Fucking, he was the uh, first Tanami? host of Tanami. Okay, so um, yeah, so they they had like Moltar talking to Tom, the host of Tanami, which Moltar was the was one of the or was the original host. And they were like, you know, I'm going to my planet, and I'm not coming back. And and, and 
It was a real fucking sad. And, you know, Steve Bloom, he's such a fucking good actor. Like, you know, you can hear the fucking sadness in his voice. And even if... I don't think it was acting, because I know Steve Bloom's probably worked with C. Martin Croker. But uh, just, like, the sadness in fucking Steve's voice playing Tom. You know, it fucking just, you know... And I guess, you know, are we talking about silly fucking cartoon voices? Yeah, but, you know, it, it did, like, make me want to fucking... I don't want to cry. I'm just saying, like, you know, I just felt bad. You know, it's like... You know, it's it's one of those things well, where like got, you don't know the guy, but you feel like you fucking know him. Well, see, that was the thing. Like we got we got word that this was actually during tsunami. We got word two weeks ago that he was. It was Saturday night, Sunday morning that he was dead. People, you know how people like to say that voice actors and actresses are dead, or even even a, it's more yeah. actresses. Oh, so there's a big one with Sebastian oh, yeah, Stallone yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, and that's been, like I, I sit there and I say, and I got people. Jump down the throat, like no, no, he's really done. Guys, see, and then you know, adults are really funny. You know, did a rest in peace, Clay Croker. So mm. that was pretty much my, you know, that was my say, okay, so he's dead. But you no, know, it's one of those things where it's just like, come on, like you can't be, like you got to make sure that this stuff is kind of. That's been going on recently a lot. It's been so long. Yeah. It's like a screenshot of seeing someone get fucked out of the house with like the the like the word across the screen. You know, so I mean, oh, the, the people, are, people are but people they're are scumbags. Good, man. What the fuck do you get out of that? I mean, look, I'm a person. I'm a person with bad taste, and I like being rude and like being an asshole and shit like that. And that's that's something you don't fuck around with. You don't mm-hmm. fuck around about like dying. Okay, yeah, I'll say. Okay, people who don't know people who don't. Go when the light turns green deserves to be fucking killed by a sniper. Okay, I say that, but I say that joking. You know what I'm saying? Like when you put that shit, because when you do something, when you do something like that, it's not a joke. It's not. Had you said, you know, uh, Sylvester Stallone died, you know, he was punched by a giant Russian guy or something like that, then you kind of, yeah. you know, all right, there's a there's a bad taste joke, but there's a joke in there somewhere. You know, just to say he's dead for the sake of, you know, you want people to panic and, or, you know, you get a thrill because people are sharing it on Facebook thinking that Sylvester Stallone is dead. You know, it's yeah. just, that's just, I don't, I don't particularly get that kind of rush. It's, it's like trolling to the fucking millionth degree. Um, Anybody say anything? Okay, there? nothing, uh, no new comments, but, uh, you know, once again, thank you for everyone who have, who have been interacting. We are gearing up for uh, New York Comic Con, tons of fucking interviews, uh, tons of things to do, panels. Between panels and inter- interviews, like I said, it's a good problem to have. But holy shit, you know, I, I got to get myself some comfortable shoes. Uh, you know, you know. Well, probably. I, I mean, right now we're working on two anime companies talking to them. Um, I will say one thing we're looking for, and I don't know anything yet, is. And we're back. Okay, so a little podcast edit right there. So let's wrap things up. That's, That's what she said. And uh, please visit twostrangersonepodcast.net. And I just renewed that for another year, so that's one less thing i got to worry about. Of course, I should renew for a couple of years, but money's tight. So uh, once again... things are tight, too. <laughs> uh, keep, um, keep, uh, we'll try our best to keep you posted. Visit two, uh, two Strangers on Podcast uh, at you know, facebook.com slash twostrangersonepodcast. We'll keep you updated and as we switch over to SoundCloud because... You know, if I'm paying for Podomatic for another two, three weeks, I might as well keep using it. Um, but we'll slowly be transitioning over to um, SoundCloud. So please visit Two Strangers on Podcast. Then you can find all things show related uh, for the time being until we update the RSS feeds. We're still available on iTunes. Uh, that may get reset as we re-upload all the, all the episodes. So once again, just bear with us as we do all that. Um, if you, and that's for Android devices, like we just spent the whole 20 minutes probably talking about iPhone. If you still have iTunes, um, if you don't have an iPhone, an iPad or an iPod, you can find us on the Stitcher app. That's S T I T C H E R, the Stitcher app, uh, for Google devices and online. Um, it's the app that I use. Um, I do the listen later option and then the available offline options. So while you're in a Wi-Fi spot, you can download all the episodes that you want to listen to. Um, so it doesn't kill your battery. It doesn't kill your data plan while you're in a Wi-Fi spot, listen to it later. Um, you know, uh, Chris Hardwick's Nerdist, Kevin Smith's Modcast, Mark Marin, Adam Carolla, 
and of course Paul's other baby, the Tsunami Faithful Podcast. Damn fucking straight. And they and they uh transitioned over uh to SoundCloud. Uh they're available on the Stitcher app, S T I T C H E R, the Stitcher app. Google Play now as well. And, oh, and Google Play, which hopefully we will we will be taking care of real soon. And uh I don't, think, I don't remember what else we're at, but we're on, we're on a bunch of stuff. I mean, there's some stuff out there that you fig- you sit there and go, hmm, am I on this app? And then you're like, oh, wait, I am. <laughs> so uh, there's like this podcast app called Overcast. Mm-hmm. Um, I know we're on that, but we've been on that for a long time. I think it's because we're on one of the other ones. Mm-hmm. Um, we just recently submitted to, and I suggest you do this, to uh, Tune In Radio. It's okay. an app that they that uh, a lot of people use to tune in to stations locally on your iPhone. Oh, okay. Um, you can put podcasts on there. Um, I just submitted tonight, so hopefully we'll get it back. Tonight. Oh, okay. And then if it works with Tsunami Faithful, Two Strangers on Podcast, we'll follow suit. Yeah, you follow um, <laughs> we, I, I, Surprisingly enough, even though we spent the whole half an hour last episode talking about uh, Oscar's letter, he didn't write us this episode, but if you would like to write us like Oscar does, and once again, if you're a new listener, now, as you heard in this episode, we had a bunch of people uh, interacting with the show on Facebook Live, but if you're not on Facebook Live or you just happen not to be on when we're recording... Uh, feel free to shoot us an email at two strangers one podcast at gmail.com. It's two strangers one podcast at gmail.com. Uh, what you like about the show, what you don't like about the show, what you want us to talk about, uh, what you want, no, yeah, what would you like us to talk about? Not that we're going to do it, but, you know, we'll take your suggestions and look at, you know, Oscar fucking bashes us over the head and we still read his emails. We don't ignore him. We, we share, uh, we share, you know, of course, I think I, I didn't want to share the last one who was, when he was being rude and nasty, but we eventually did end up sharing it. Uh, so if you're a new listener, or even if you're an old listener, I'd like to know what you're doing. I certainly hope you're like goofing off when you're supposed to be, you know, you're listening to the podcast, but you're supposed to be at work or something like that. Um, what like I said, say? Facebook, you know, once again, we're on Facebook, facebook.com slash two strangers on podcast. We want your money. We need your money. But if you can't give us a dime, it takes two seconds to share and like this page. Uh, if you like this particular episode, share and like this episode on your Facebook page. The whole fucking world is on Facebook, except for anyone I went to school with. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so once again, that helps, uh, contribute to What's the show. What's fangled Facebook that you talk about? Yeah. Oh, there's people that are all hiding from people. And then, and once again, as I mentioned earlier, up to this point, every single episode of the old episodes of Two Strangers, Two Strangers One Podcast is on YouTube. So go to YouTube and search for Two Strangers One Podcast. Uh, once again, I can't tell you to click on the <laughs> the advertisers or the the ads or the banners, but if you do that, it would certainly help the show. I'm not telling you to do that though, but if you happen to do it, <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated. I'm not telling you to do it, but if you did it, but I it would be helpful. Um, so th- once again, every single episode, let it play in the background. We need more plays. We need more hour. We need more playtime because when the, when we, the playtime numbers go up, then it gets shared when people search for things, you know, and since we talk about so many different subjects, you know, someone fucking Googles Batman, maybe our podcast will pop up and want to hear us talking about Batman. So that would be great. Greatly appreciated if you could do that. Um, I can't, and on Twitter. We're at Stranger Podcast. Uh, once again, I don't really engage on Twitter as much as I should, as much as I'd like to, but uh, you can follow us on there also. And that's all I can think about. I acquiesce the floor to you, sir. So you can find me on Twitter at Paul Biscrillo. You can you can ask me questions at ask.fm slash Paul Biscrillo. And, of course, you can review pictures of my ugly ass, Instagram.com slash Paul Biscrillo as well. Uh, also, uh, I have a couple of reviews up on geekyink.com that I want you guys to check out. I just... Maybe a week ago, I put up Supergirl season one review. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks. Shout out to Warner Brothers for sending me all that stuff. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, I, I actually did a review for Flash and I'm about to do Flash season two because I finally got it done. I'll put that up as well. No, I'm not the race to the clock to get <laughs> Arrow done. I'm not so much at a race for days of, or what is it? Um, <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow days. <laughs> you want to say days of future past. That's but, what you, you know, because I've heard bad things about it, but I will watch that too and I will review that to hopefully Warner Brothers won't be like well you didn't review it on time and smack me but you know hey I, I got a ton of shit that I'm doing I gotta do it when I can so yeah. I'm getting it done I'm putting it up when I can and then I'll just send it to them and if they say fuck you Paul I'll be like oh I love guys <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah that's it that's about it So sure. we certainly hope you guys enjoyed watching or excuse, well for those at home watching we certainly hope you guys enjoyed listening wa- listening <laughs> 
Because you know, no, it's just you know, I, I'm a little bit distracted. But you know, for those at home who were watching, we certainly hope you go. You should, yeah, we certainly hope you guys enjoyed watching and listening and had as much fun as we did. Thank you for listening to Strangers One Podcast. I'm Chris. I'm Paul. Don't be a stranger. Peace. Oh. Bye. Bitches. You should be fapping. <laughs> if you're ugly, don't fast. <laughs> <laughs> And that one was for Durrell from Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and that fap goes out for, from Chris to Durrell. All right, here we go, man. Go ahead. You want to read Double it? Jackpot. What is it? It is a self-published book by Christopher Cologne. Chris Cologne? Smells good to me. But- <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. That broke that fucking cold little exterior. He's like, hee hee hee. But it is spelled C O L O N. Him, punny. But. <laughs> Double Jackpot is a book about a comic book artist, Eric, who is in a loveless relationship with a materialist. I feel you, Eric. Lynette. I, 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 oh, fucking. Are you sure I didn't write this? <laughs> Uh, I, I smell, sounds hauntingly familiar. He starts cheating on his girlfriend with a more creatively, su- sorry, creatively supportive woman, Nadia. Well, I, I gotta meet her. Where's the Nadia? There's your summer girlfriend. Summer Nadia! Is Nadia. Nadia? Yeah, I think Nadia spelled with an A. Alright. Both Lynette and, uh, Nadia play the double jackpot, the largest payout in lotto history. Much like the recent Powerball. Both girls play his birth date as the winning re- as the winning numbers. Eric is now stuck between two of the country's richest women. Who will he choose? It's not that simple. This is a clever fucking idea, yeah, man. Is. Look at her, fucking. She's impressed. I am. Summer. She got some summer reading. Uh, Christopher uh, Cologne smells real lovely with an original idea. Is this? I've never heard this before. I haven't either. This is a self-published book, much in the indie spirit as Kev's Clerks. Oh, you don't even need to name check me. This is just a good idea. You could stand on your own, man. You don't even have to be like, hey, remember Clerks? This is nothing like that. <laughs> this is way more original than Clerks. This is a good idea, man. Why didn't I think it is? I need something to read. This book is part of the Comic Books Heavy Metal Video Games Trilogy Book 2. Odd I See, A Tale from the Road, coming soon. Right on, man. It's part of a trilogy. This is the first part. Way to write, man. He's seeking a literary agent. Motherfuckers, anybody out there? There ain't no literary agents listening to this show, I assure you, sure. Sure. I assure you, sure. But somebody know a literary agent? Hook a motherfucker up! Chris Cologne come up with an original idea. I should tell Raskin. That's a good fucking idea, to be so honest too. with you. That's a fucking rom-com right there. Megan, get Raskin on the phone. <laughs> Isn't it possible to get Raskin on the phone? No? Yeah. I want to run it past him, man. I want to, and if it happens, I get a taste, Chris Cologne. I get a, a whiff, if you will. The book could also be ordered on www.lulu.com. That's lulu.com. That's, I understand that. I just want to spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> Normally one says it, that spells it still. Lulu.com. What is that? Do you know what it is? I don't know. All right. The book could also be ordered on www.lulu.com. Search for Double Jackpot Christopher Cologne. A paperback version of the book is $15, and a PDF file is only 5 bucks. Five dollars yeah. is insanely inexpensive. Fifteen's not even that bad for a hard, for a paperback version. No. This is a million dollar idea right here. Like a, a fucking a movie about a dude who fucking is stuck between two chicks, both of who play his birthday and win the lottery. Come on! I Come like I it. can see that trailer. Chris Cologne is on to something. Nobody else can smell it but me. I'll read it. Thank you. I'm gonna make that smelly joke. I all. know, you're trying to get me to laugh again. It worked once. <laughs> Double Jackpot is a self-published book by Chris Cologne, man. It's the first book in his comic books, heavy metal video games trilogy. Book two, Odd I See, A Tale from the Road, should be coming out soon. Get all the information. Chris Cologne, like a motherfucker. I will and his totally book, read this. Double Jackpot. I'm serious. I'm going to recommend that to fucking Raskin. That's, how is that not a movie? You know what I'm saying? This could be a sexy movie. You could do an R-rated version. There could be nudie in it. and You could sell them fucking both chicks. Maybe a little penetration. Maybe a butthole shot. No butthole, no care. I would like to formally apologize to Christopher Cologne. No, sex sells. Chris Cologne will appreciate that. He's like, thanks for throwing a few buttholes in there, man. Don't forget to check out twostrangersonepodcast.net, your one-stop resource for everything show-related. You can find links to subscribe to us on iTunes or on Stitcher. You could also find links to buy my book, Double Jackpot, on twostrangersonepodcast.net. 
Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you, I'm out.